Hi everybody, I am Kannan from Model Exam. My dear, why fear when Model Exam is here? You see, Mass is the queen of science. You know all these things. Let's see now the sequence and series of real numbers. A sequence of real numbers is an arrangement or a list of real numbers in a specific order of numbers of terms then it is called a finite series say for example 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 up to 100 you see the sequence here is called a finite series if a sequence has infinitely many terms then it is called an infinite sequence say for example 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 11 is now going on it's not ending so here the numbers are given as the list of all prime numbers so the list of all prime numbers here are never ending so this sequence is called an infinite sequence okay you all know about that finite series finite sequence and the infinite sequence now finding the nth term of a sequence say for example write the first three terms of the following sequence a n is equal to n into n minus 2 by 3 for n we can take the numbers 1 2 3 like that so if I take n is equal to 1 putting instead of n 1 into 1 minus 2 by 3 now we are getting the answer minus 1 by 3 for n I can take the number 2 so the formula is now n int n minus 2 over 3 for n I can put the number 2 2 into 2 minus 2 over 3 now we are getting the answer is as 0 ok understand then for n I am putting the number 3 so 3 into 3 minus 2 over 3 that is we are getting 3 by 3 is equal to 1 let's see very important sequence that is Fibonacci sequence the sequence is given by fn is equal to f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2 whereas n is equal to 3 4 5 is called a Fibonacci sequence which is nothing but 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 and 8 that is f1 is equal to 1 and f2 is also equal to 1 now the f3 term is f1 plus f2 that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 to find the f4 so we have to add f2 plus f3 that is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 now to get the fifth term that is f5 f3 plus f4 that is equal to 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 now f6 is got by adding f4 plus f5 that is 3 plus 5 equal to 8 and it's going on So the Fibonacci sequence uh, we can see in our day to day life. 
the fibonacci sequence occurs in nurture like the arrangement of seeds in a sunflower you see the diagram here the number of spirals in the opposite directions of the seeds in a sunflower are consecutive numbers of the fibonacci sequence you see the diagram and you can watch next let's consider about an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression shortly we are calling ap ap means arithmetic progression a sequence a1 a2 a3 up to an is said to be an ap if a n plus 1 is equal to an plus d whereas a is called the first term of arithmetic progression and d is the common difference let's take an example for that ap the numbers 2 comma 5 comma 8 is an ap because a1 is equal to 2 that is t1 the first term and d is equal to 3 so 3 the common difference we are getting by subtracting the first term from the second term that is 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 next let's see another one example minus 4 comma minus 4 comma minus 4 is also an ap because here a1 is equal to Minus four, and the common difference D here is zero. Let's form the general term of an AP. A, comma A plus D, comma A plus two D, and then A plus N D is the general term of an AP. That is T N. that means nth term of an ap is got by a plus n minus 1 into d where n is the nth term that we are going to find out and a is the first term and d is the common difference problems regarding ap find the first term and a common difference of the ap 5 comma 10 comma 15 and going on now you can see the first term that is t1 here is 5 and the common difference we are getting the common difference by subtracting the first term from the second term or the second term from the third term so that is called a common difference So ten minus five, or fifteen minus ten, we are getting the common difference D as five. Let's see another problem. That is, find the common difference and the fifteenth term of the AP. One twenty-five, comma one twenty, comma one fifteen, and going on. You see here now we are. given that we want to find out the common difference and also the 15th term of the ap evidently we can see the first term of the ap is a is equal to 125 and the d as i said earlier we have to subtract the first term from the second term for that d is equal to 120 minus 125 we are getting d as minus 5 so we are getting d as minus 5 and we want to find the 15th term of the ap is here the formula is a plus n minus 1 into d so 
for a we are putting 125 plus then n minus 1 is 15 minus 1 into minus 5 that is 125 plus within bracket 15 into minus 5 that is 125 minus of minus 70 we are getting 55. So, the 15th term of the AP is 55.